caught in a trap. It was supposed to be for free. And now I'm enrolled in something. Thousands of Canadians tricked by free trial. These companies are scammers, and they need to be shut down. And we'll show you why this dragon thinks free is now a four-letter word. That's just pure opportunistic bull We go searching for answers. This is your marketplace. So you got three, I got three. We're about to unbox a scam. Yeah. Ultimate moisture. Jeez, it's not that big though, is it? These little samples of anti-aging cream are supposed to be free for us to try. This is, this is one that Asha did, Rejuva, Duma Essence and Rejuva Essence. But as you'll see, they're gonna cost us hundreds of dollars. That's anti-wrinkle cream and they gave me anti-wrinkle serum. What's the difference between a serum and a cream, do you know? And they'll lead us into a sketchy world of online marketing that has Canadians everywhere feeling ripped off. I am outraged at this company's poor business ethics. You can't say buyer beware either because they didn't know they were buying anything. I was under the impression there was a free trial offer available. A sophisticated scheme that hides the fine print and targets your credit card. If there's ever a class action lawsuit against these people, count me in. It was in Bob Cajun that Jan Baird fell for it. I know you don't want to go swimming, do you? Look at this shimmering. She with her wife, Karen, is among more than 25,000 people who have complained to either us or the Better Business Bureau about skincare scams. I used to swim in a lot colder water then than I didn't yeah, have. Yeah, that's true. We all did it. For Jan, it all started with her love of Ellen DeGeneres. I was on Facebook, and um, Ellen popped out. And it said that Ellen was gone away. She's talking about an article, supposedly from People magazine. It claims Ellen is leaving her show to promote a new skin cream. And that leads to this chance to try it out. Free trial. Send away, free trial, doesn't cost anything. And normally I wouldn't even think about that, but my dermatologist says I have very dry skin, so I have been thinking about more moisturizing. I thought, great, I can do it for free. So. I send it in. Jan uses her credit card to pay about five bucks in shipping charges and gets herself some Hydrolux to help with the dryness. But the free trial doesn't end there. Then I got the third one and that's when I, uh-oh, something's wrong here. So that's when I checked my visa more closely. Then I started seeing charges for $161, $154. And there's more. Somehow, Jan has signed up for monthly skin cream subscriptions. You like my old calculator? She didn't mean to, and she's still not sure how much she's out. So we ask her to add it up. The bottom line is astounding. $1,682.53. That's a lot. That's crazy. How did it get to that? And she thought it was a free trial, thanks to Ellen. We found out about this fake endorsement bull because a few weeks ago, viewers started riding into the show. Other skin creams are using other celebrities without permission, and no one seems able to stop it. You know, there's this skincare company that we can't really locate, so they're like really fly by night. And, and people are getting these ads saying that I'm leaving the view. So far, what we found, there are at least eight websites that have used Robin's name and image to promote multiple skincare products. Even one of CBC's very own, Arlene Dickinson from Dragon's Den, has been linked to these skincare scams. We catch up with an angry Arlene on a backstage break. I'm sorry, I'm, you know, like, I don't call people slimy and fraudulent without purpose. These people are frauds. She's best known, of course, for helping out entrepreneurs on Dragon's Den. I actually would like to make you an offer. Okay? Please. I'll give you exactly what you want. That's great. Thank you. Some of the people running these face cream schemes think that they're entrepreneurs. They're what not, do you say to that? They're not entrepreneurs. They're shysters. They're, they're hucksters. They're, they're complete pe they, That is not entrepreneurial. That's just pure opportunistic bull. 
What upsets her most is that so many Canadians are being duped in her name, including a viewer who lost nearly $400. She goes on to say the culprit had used the Dragon's Den as bait. I was thus led to believe in the offer, having watched many episodes of this program and especially trusted the integrity of Kevin O'Leary and Arlene Dickinson. It would appear that they endorsed and continue to endorse the products. What do you it's think heartbreaking. of that? It's horrible. I actually felt physically sick when I was reading these letters because they believed it because of me and I had nothing to do with it. I don't know if you want to take a look. This I've is never Juva seen it. Essence Instant Wrinkle Eraser. We show Arlene one of the creams we purchased that's linked to Dragon's Den in its advertising. She's not impressed. <laughs> what the heck is coming out of that? Oh my goodness, it's got like crystals in it. Oh, that's disgusting. She's hoping we have more luck than her in finding the bad guys. I talked to our lawyer and they did everything. They can't find these people. They're changing addresses, they're changing locations. They, um, even their websites change on a regular basis. So there's, they, they, they're slick. So who exactly are they? Who's pushing all these face creams online and creating all those fake ads? If celebrities with deep pockets can't find out, what chance have we got? Our research takes us back a decade to this guy, Jesse Wilms from a suburb of Edmonton. Wilms made a name and a fortune for himself at a very young age through free trial offers of weight loss products, teeth whiteners, and deception. Mr. Wilms and his companies were advertising these products as free trials when in fact they were soliciting sensitive personal information from people, including credit card information, and unwittingly committing people to ongoing uh, subscriptions. Sound familiar? U.S. authorities eventually sued Wilms. He agreed to pay a staggering settlement of $359 million. But more than that, Wilms helped pioneer a way of doing business online that others are still using to scam Canadians. Along with free trials, it uses something called affiliate marketing. Here's how it works. If you've got something to sell on the internet, like face cream, you're known as a merchant. But with so much competition, it's hard to get anyone to notice your product. Solution, you hire affiliate marketers. These are people who agree to promote your product on their websites, blogs, and through internet advertising. The best part is, you don't have to pay affiliates unless they get someone to buy what you're selling. But that's also the tricky part, because affiliates want to get paid, merchants want to sell, and there's lots of money to be made. That combination can lead to some questionable practices. I had no idea that I was to cancel this subscription because no one told me that I had a subscription. I have no explanation for the charges, I have no way to return the product, and I'm on the hook. These companies are scammers, and they need to be shut down. Here's another way they do it, with fake consumer surveys using real company names like Costco, Air Canada, and Rogers. Well, I was just checking my email, and then all of a sudden, uh, this Rogers survey popped up. It sure seems convincing. Well, it, it knows that I'm a Rogers customer. It knows that I'm from Toronto. The survey wants Julie Gallagher's opinion about Rogers service and is offering her a reward for giving it. Question one of six. Have you had Rogers cable service for over six months? The survey, in fact, is the result of malicious software and an internet marketer who wants to trick Julie into signing up for face cream. Have you ever had a call to Rogers Cable technical support due to a problem? Julie, though, is our producer's wife and familiar with this scam. They capture it in real time. Now they're submitting my answers. Searching offer inventory. Anti-aging cream. Julie picks the anti-aging cream for her reward. Regular price is $139.95, but today's price is $0. All I have to pay is shipping at $4.95. She ends up at a website. This is the merchant now that wants her credit card info to pay for shipping. But nowhere does it mention a monthly subscription. Not unless you scroll way down to the bottom and click on the terms and conditions. 
Every 30 days, we will send you a fresh 30-day supply of Bonte Advanced Wrinkle Cream and charge you $89.97 plus $6.95 shipping and handling. It was supposed to be for free, and now I'm enrolled in something. To give you an idea just how lucrative this scheme is, check out this website, Biz Profits, and all these free trial offers for face creams. Biz Profits is one of many places where merchants can show affiliates which products they want promoted and how much they'll pay in commissions. 30, 40, 50 dollars every time an affiliate convinces one of us to go to the merchant's page and sign up for a free trial. Think about that. Merchants are paying affiliates 40 bucks to get us to pay just five bucks in shipping fees. It doesn't add up unless the merchants are pretty sure they'll get hundreds of dollars more out of us perhaps by hiding the truth of what's really going on. As we dig deeper, we finally track down one of the merchants and one of the places where some of this begins. Right here on my trusty laptop, that's where the magic happens, you could say. Chad Hamsey is a full-time internet marketer who claims to make a lot of money doing it. I personally am myself a multiple six-figure a year earner. He's a former mixed martial artist, fighting here in Thailand, where he also first studied online marketing. And before that, he ran for mayor of Calgary. I am the youngest candidate and, and really going for the sex appeal, really going for that sort of thing. And quite honestly, that's going to... Sex, sex appeal. Sex appeal. That's what I said, yeah. Now Hamsey's living in California, selling this face cream online. The same one we showed Arlene from Dragon's Den. Well, when I first saw it, I thought, oh, this is going to be, I'll just call my lawyer, and yeah. the lawyer will shut it down. But yeah. they just said, we can't even find them. But we can. Our search takes us from face cream to FaceTime. Will you do an on-camera interview with us? This is your marketplace. Got a story you think we should investigate? Email us, marketplace at cbc.ca. Unboxing a scam. Down there, in the suburbs of San Diego, California, is a man we want to talk to, but he doesn't want to talk to us. We don't normally travel so far without an appointment. For this guy, though, we have a lot of questions. Chad Hamsey sells anti-aging cream online, something called Rejuva Essence. It's the way he does it that's the issue, and a lot of Canadians have lost a lot of money. We've asked Hamsey for an interview, and six times he said no. I think there's some movement up there. By the garage. So now, we're in his neighborhood, hoping to catch up with him. And the products were these. Judy Mayer from Aurora, Ontario, is one of Hamsey's unhappy customers. I got caught up in a scam after ordering a skin product that was advertised on my Facebook homepage. Her story is like so many others. A trial offer turns into a trying ordeal, with consumers out hundreds of dollars before realizing they're trapped in a subscription scheme. And because I ordered the sample, and didn't cancel my subscription. They sent me three more samples and then charged my MasterCard for about $400. We want to see for ourselves. It says the original price is $74.95. And order several different creams, including Chad Hamsey's product, Rejuva Essence. You can see here the price says free, just $3.95 for shipping and no sign of an expensive monthly subscription. But within weeks, strange charges are popping up on our MasterCard statement. ND Ventures LLC, $120.75. Smooth Renewal Skin Car, $136.03. Calling Rejuva Essence. We managed to locate a customer service number for Hamsey's company and try calling for an explanation. I have to say, it's unclear that after the free trial that you get these charges on your credit card. Those are different applications, ma'am. 
if you cancel before your trial period, then we cancel everything, and that's it. When you're signing up, it doesn't say that. At least not anywhere that I was looking. You are on the part that says you agree on this. That's where you can read that. Where is it? In the terms and conditions page, is everything is plain. Oh, yeah. That page, buried at the bottom in a link that so many miss. We're down the street from Chad Hamsey's house in San Diego. So his place is just up there on the left. He's not the only one running this sort of skin care scheme. Was it him? But he's a player and a former affiliate marketer and a Canadian whose business has upset a lot of others. In a lengthy email exchange, Hamsey has told us he always lists the billing terms on his Rejuva Essence checkout page, and he says it's up to consumers to read the terms of any subscription offer. But when we send these screenshots of his checkout page showing the lack of any clear and conspicuous terms, he says he never would have approved it. Hamsey also says affiliate marketers are to blame for the methods used to promote his product, like those fake Dragon's Den endorsements. We want to know why Hamsey thinks he's so blameless in all this and decide it's time to knock on his door. Hi, Chad. Yeah. I'm Asha Tomlinson with CBC Marketplace. Hey. Uh, this is my producer, Greg. You've emailed him back and forth yeah, for the last couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. And that's our cameraman, Dave. The cameras are rolling. I just want you to let you know. OK. And we've come a long way. You have it. <laughs> to ask you, will you do an on-camera interview with us about Rejuva Essence and the complaints behind it? No, I mean, we uh, we discussed that in email. <clears throat> Sorry. And, um, I mean, it's... We've discussed on email all about that, so I don't see any point in discussing further. I mean, Greg, you know my opinion on it and everything, so... Yeah. There are a lot of Canadians who have been out hundreds of dollars because they thought they were signing up for a free trial. Mm -hmm. What do you say to those people, those Canadians who are really angry? We keep hearing from them. <clears throat> well, I mean, like, I don't really have a comment on it other than, you know, we've explained that we have, <clears throat> sorry, none of my kids are here, the terms and everything on the page and whatnot, so. Would you like to come outside or? No, I'm good, guys. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hamsey says his kids are inside, so we back off and exchange more emails about a possible interview. But he won't agree. Hamsey tells us he's getting out of the business. If I'm not authorizing these purchases, why is MasterCard charging me? Why don't credit card companies do more to shut down this scam? This is your marketplace. Get more Marketplace. Sign up for our weekly newsletter at cbc.ca slash marketplace. The real deal on your Marketplace. Jan Baird is calling her credit card company. Good afternoon, welcome to TD Credit Card. Hoping for a little help after losing a lot of money. I ordered a free trial of two different skincare products. Mm -hmm. And then they started sending me more and charging me, and I didn't know that was going to happen. She's out 1600 bucks, and she's not alone. Are you getting a lot of calls about this? Yes, yeah. yes, a lot. That's what I thought. I wish Visa didn't deal with those companies. Jan wishes the same thing. Seems no matter who you ask, the credit card companies won't do much, even though these schemes are considered deceptive and fraudulent under the law. If I'm not authorizing these purchases, why is MasterCard charging me? They should be taking legal action against these scammers, and the sooner the better. What I am also really missed at is the turning a blind eye by the credit card companies, which directly or indirectly aids and abates these scams. Arlene Dickinson, whose image is being used without permission to promote some of these creams, 
thinks credit card companies could and should shut it down. Well, it's not their fault. They, they can stop it. So my request to them is stop it. Stop letting them charge on credit cards through, through the system. Maybe that's too simplistic, but that seems like the solution to me, or a solution. We try MasterCard to ask about the charges we got after ordering our free trial. How do I dispute this? They tell us we should have read the fine print. So just out of curiosity, have you ever looked at these websites yourself? I have gone on a lot of these websites myself, yes. Yeah. Did you notice how buried those terms and conditions are? I certainly understand they, they can have them in difficult places to see and whatnot. Unfortunately, it is the merchant. The terms and conditions are there for you to view. So you're saying if they exist somewhere, then it's my responsibility to find them at the bottom, hidden in a little thing? Unfortunately, yeah. That, that, that is your responsibility. They tell their customers to read the terms instead of telling their merchants to stop burying them. We ask MasterCard several times for an interview, but they decline. So we show up at their headquarters with a suggestion. Like on this mock checkout page, right where you enter your info, credit card companies could insist that merchants tell you exactly what you're signing up for and what you'll be charged. There we go. Let's go show them our idea. At MasterCard headquarters, though, they still don't want to talk. So we drop off our suggestion and a bunch of face cream they never ordered. Rejuvescence and some Hydrolux. Package delivered. Busting superfoods. Super seeds, super grains, super food. It, well, it makes me stop and read the label. Too good to be true. Lower cholesterol prevents whoa, cancer, whoa, 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 whoa. reduces risk of Alzheimer's. Companies are using the word super food without any scientific base. We put them to the test. If you're going to advertise it, it should be regulated. Is this misleading consumers? Prevents cancer? 